Allow me to offer you my deepest apologies. On behalf of the Gerudo. Huh. For taking so long to accept your repeated invitations. It is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom. To serve it faithfully. What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I forgot to check out this well last night. So at first I was like, oh well, but I'm like, no, I need to check out the well. So down here uh, seems to be, okay, Foothill Stable Well. Come here, you fish. Oh, I'm not even facing the right way. Fish, come here. Dang it, he went too low. No, I got him. Glowing cave fish. Um, today I'm gonna go over, try to get, I, I don't know if I will, but I'm gonna try to get one of the fairies dealt with. And then, uh, we're gonna go to the, the Dragon Tier in Gerudo. I think that's the next in line, because if you look at the list here, at the memories, uh, you know, we had the Awakening, of course, we had Where Am I, we had Unfamiliar World, we had Miniru's, Con Miniru's Council, which happened last episode. Then we had the Gerudo, Gerudo Assault, which I did some time ago. But we gotta do seven now, and I think that's the one, I looked back at the previous video I did, I think that's the one uh, that's going to be um, in, in the Gerudo region. So, let's see, there's a couple chests over here. I think what I'm to do is to grab this and throw this out here, that way I'll have easy access to it, I think. Oh, that just sunk. I thought wood floats, what the heck? <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's instead attach this. Perfect. Perfect, yeah, good job, good job, Link. And then I think we just send this out here and hopefully attach it. Yeah, there you go. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> I don't know why. No, why, are, why am I not holding on to it? There, there we go. Exactly how I, I meant to solve this. And of course, we'll do some shrines along the way. So let me open this up and purple rupee, good. Good, great, etc., etc. Uh then there's a chest just over here. Dang, which again, I mean I guess if I were to attach this, we'd have that solved, right? So out. Whoa. Out. Nope. Out here. Is it not gonna you're not gonna be able to attach it like that? Does this, does this float? Sort of. Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. And then we put this here. Where, why, why don't... Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? And then we got this, and then we got that, and then <laughs> and I don't even want this. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Well, hey. Cool. Like I said, I was going to now travel over here. Because uh, I know there's a, a stable in Farron somewhere. I don't know where. But it's bound to be over here. I know. What is this? Is this a fairy? What is this? I actually don't know what that is. That's not a fairy. Because the fairies. No. I don't know what that is. But the main point is there's a stable down in Fair, and I know there's a, there is a, um, not a stable, but a, uh, a shrine down here. If I get that shrine, then maybe I'm, I'm hoping the stable's near there, because I marked the shrine there, and there's always a shrine near a stable, so I'm hoping that's it. We can also do another, uh, solving of the, um, the, the, you know, the newspaper clues or whatever. Anyway, we know how this works. Let's go. Let's get in here. Let's launch. Yellow is this way somewhere. Boy. Uh. All right, glide. There we go. And uh, is this way? Is this area covered in storms? I, I swear I've been here. I've been here. You know, actually, what? Wait, what? You know what would be closer? Well. Let's not worry about it. Yeah, indeed there is a stable over there. So, 
This is good news, because I can land here. There's also a shrine down over there. Thunderhead Isles. Yeah, this is part of Thunderhead Isles. This is good news. Like I said, good news all around. I'm gonna probably fly up here. Oh no, 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 no. What am I what am I what do I have on that's electrified? This is not. Uh my armor? No. I think we're good. No. Is it my armor? Uh I don't know. I'm naked. Is that good? What 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 is what is electrified? Oh oh. There we go. I put my armor back on. I think. <laughs> that was confusing because I really didn't know what was going on here. All right, we're good. Good 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 good. Whoa, jeez, still scary. Oh no no no! Jump up there, please. Thank you. All righty. Um. What the heck is this? Okay, anyway. Let's start gliding out again. It's over this way. And, um... Uh, I know that guy sees me, but I'm gonna try not to care. The other state, yeah, the shrine's way over here. And of course, next to it, a stable, so I'm happy about that. And then we're just gonna land here for a second. I mean, this is far out, you know. I'm, I'm trying to do what I could do. Oh, wait, no, the shrine. Wait a second. Yes, there's a shrine here, but the other shrine I'm looking at is right over here. And this is the one that's near the stable. Great news. Okay. I mean, I, I would love to get out of the way of all the storms if possible. Does that make sense that you would. I don't know. Here we go. There's something to land on over here, maybe. No, there's several of those. All right. We're fast approaching. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know what this stuff is over here. Good start to the episode. <laughs> there we go. Oots, shock shrine. Let's do it, then we'll go to the stable, try to solve whatever mystery is there. Hopefully there's a musician type dude around. I remember this area from Breath of the Wild. It's like a kind of, kind of a swampy area. There's a lot to do in this game. Gloom spawn rumors. Long or wide. Let me guess, is this gonna be a, uh... Oh. Well, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is how we do it, right? Slap. And it's going in. Excellent. Alrighty. Similar situation over here. There's a block. Uh, this one needs to go up though, so. I'm gonna guess if I let go of this, it's not gonna have the desired effect. It's not gonna be able to make it up that hill. Unless, no. Hmm. If I could lift it up a little higher, like so far this is, seems to be as high as it goes, but if I stand on, if I stand on this, 
I'm guessing I can get a little more leverage out of it. Now, I know my mind has been poisoned. It's been poisoned to think like, hey, you can't do this because if you do this, you know, if you use recall, it won't make the viewers happy. My mind's been poisoned like that. But I have an idea that maybe there's a way around it. There you go. There you go. It went right in. My thought was to use recall, but that worked just fine. So let's uh, let's figure out where this chest. There's gotta be a chest here somewhere, right? There's the chest. What in the world? Okay, hold on. What all is available to me? I have this, this. This is a little something here that I probably need to use. Almost like a paddle. <laughs> like a, maybe like a hammer? Hmm. Here, move this for a second. Um. Well, actually, I mean, come on. Oh, it's coming back this way. Dang! I thought I could. I thought I solved it. <laughs> All right. So this goes up. <laughs> there you go. All the way in. Clearly done. How it was meant to be done. Oh, a cart is coming, okay. Oh boy, uh, here it goes. Oh, jeez, oh, that scared me. All right, and then, you know, th this might be one of the easier ones there, there, there is. All right, and then I jump up in here. <laughs> I really thought that was gonna work. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jeez, okay. I mean, I don't know. It seems a little low. Hold on. I mean, high, high. There we go. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. That was a bit too fast. My camera wasn't turned around properly for me to do that, so. Come back. I don't I have a shield that does this. Here, can I just walk on this? Dang. Okay. Um. More importantly, can't I just? For one second here, can I just do something like? Hold on. It's coming back this way, really. All right, you know what? Fine. Let's let's have it done how it was do how it was doing before. I'll just try to make the jump. Mm. 
No. <laughs> All right, there we go. Try again. Let's go. Dang it. What the heck? Oh, wait. I, I didn't realize this part. Oh, man. How am I supposed to get over there? Where's that shield of mine? Where it's like this, and then I'm like... I don't even know. <sighs> Hit it again. Maybe I'll just have this altar hand ready. There we go. Perfect. No complaints. Sneaky elixir too, that's nice. And that's all the chest, that's all the chest. And then now we go over to the stable. After we cash this in, so to speak. I'm supposed to go over to the stable in Farron, right? It's my third one, right? Yeah. Great. And uh, now what happens? I'm trying to find out what happens. There's a lot of... There used to be like a ferry down, down south, didn't there? Like right in that area? I think there used to be. Maybe there's the horse god or something. Uh, where is the... There it is. I think there's a musician over here, but more importantly, there's also... Um, is it, I'll look at that tent in a second. I don't know what's in that tent. But here I am, down in Farron. All these bulls. Island stables. I'm, oh, whoa. There you are, dude. I see you. Oh, there's that dragon. Is that Zelda? Is that a different dragon? I don't even know. What's up? Hiya, so I bet you climbed up here with me for some good reason. Need something? Or, hey, did you come to listen to my performance? Are you a stable trotter? Huh? You met the stable trotters? I did. Wow, the troop is touring again, and they want us all, uh, they want all of us musicians back. That's great. But first, I have to do some, I have something to do here. I can't go back to the stable trotters until I take care of it. Come on, let's move this down there where it's safe. I need to tell you what happened here. All right. Ooh. You might hear about this from someone at the stable, but what happened is that there was a fire in the field. Yeah, right on this spot, this burned patch around us. There were some flowers here before. It was all my fault, an accident, but still my fault. You see, I have a friend who lives at the stable. Her name's Hate, Haiti. Maybe you've met her? She's been asking people if she could see a glowing tree. It's just something from a picture book. You know, it's not real, but she really wishes it was. I promised her that I'd show her one. Not my brightest idea, given they don't exist. And then I was stuck. So I thought I'd use this little tree and a little fire and make it a glowing tree. Really quick, that's all. Aww. That's how things got burned here, but I was only thinking of my promise to Haiti. Besides, it didn't even work. Aww. I would still like to surprise her with the glowing tree somehow, but safely. So I'm collecting fireflies. I need ten or more sunset fireflies, and then I'll have enough to make a whole tree glow. That will make Haiti smile. Do I, do I have that many fireflies? I don't think I have any fireflies. Oh, I think I have some, but I don't think I have that many. How many do I have? Be so lucky if I had ten. I have uh, four. Sunset fire. Where are sunset fireflies? I need to find sunset fireflies and then, you know, deal with that. Obviously. Um, where's the bird? Isn't the bird supposed to be there? Is the bird? The princess's voice. Ah. Hey there, partner. Did you head this way after hearing the rumors? 
Even without wings, you've traveled all the way here. That shows some serious reporter spirit. Mm. Well, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice near here that sounds like Princess Zelda. I heard the chirps and warbles from my little birds and headed straight here, but something is fishy. Mm. For starters, the strange voice is crowing from Fural Plain to the northwest, night after night after night. Leave the... Uh, Leave the RMS, leave the, leave therms, therms, at last, at least, that's what I heard, I, I didn't get too close, mm. got got out of there fast, like a curse is blowing through the wind, no sir, not gonna think about it, ah. anyway, all the travelers who heard the eerie voice have gotten spooked by it, they've been throwing their weapons down as well and running away as fast as they can, could the voice really belong to Princess Zelda, she's not usually so haunting, all we can do is seek out the truth, partner, even if it is a little scary, in the eerie voice, okay, so I'll, I'll do that, let me check into the stable, by the way. Mm. Hey, partner, you're finding this all a little scary, aren't you? Can't blame you one bit if you are. Me? Not at all. Totally fine. Just worried about you is all. Ah. What I'm saying is I think we should investigate this story together. I think we should leave at night. It'll, uh, I'll be waiting right here, so just come and get me when night falls. Does Beetle sell fireflies? I'm selling. What are you selling? Uh, let's see. What have you got? You got fireflies? Ooh, he has three. That's perfect. Uh, I'll take them all. Unfortunately, that's wow. not enough. But okay. Wow. All right. Good. Good on you. I have. I just need three more. Uh, they might not know about bugs, and the unknown is scary. But if you pay attention and get to know them, you'll see how amazing they are. Wow. It's against Beetle's life philosophy to hate things without giving them a chance. But I don't think you're like that. I. I kind of was skipping through what he was saying. Uh, let's check in here. Get another hey. point. Uh -huh. We need one more for another reward. Uh. And I'm good. I'm good. Goodbye. But I do uh. need to rest here. They actually haven't laid eyes on this white horse themselves yet, but they were planning to take the road to the lake of the horse gods southeast of here and search for it there. Uh. Now, I can hardly leave my work at the stable, but I'm sure to see that giant white stallion if it exists. I have one. It's lightning. I don't know if it's giant, though. Are we talking about a big one like Big Pona? I don't know. Any challengers? Yeah. You and Nomad, suppose you've already found the horses around the fair and grasslands then. Well, I grew up taming those horses and I polished my riding skills till they shine. In fact, I'm sure there's nobody better than me, but these days putting my riding skills to the test isn't enough. Oh. So being the horse enthusiast I am, I've come up with a contest guaranteed to push me even farther. And what is this contest exactly? Uh. Why, it's a race to see how fast you can gallop around a course without losing the cargo off the horse's trailer. Ooh. In fact, if you fancy yourself skilled in the horsemanship department, why not take uh, a, rec a run at my record? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Well, shoot, fella. You can't enter a horse race without a horse to ride. Go mount up and come back to me when you're serious. All right. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, let's do... Let's check out the well. Because wells are a thing. It'd be funny if there are fireflies down here. But I don't see nothing. I mean, I see this, the bright cap. And uh, you know, Bo, you know what to do. Oh, look at this. All right, all right. I didn't mean to do that, but it's... I don't know if the, you know, this thing will be... Oh, 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 I only have nine! Ow! Jerk, I'm doing this! Thank you. I missed you. I, I thought you were... Alright, 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 alright. Let me up. Someone else can hit him too, you know. This place is well guarded, apparently. What the heck? What's that on your head? What the heck was that? Boom! Oh, it didn't break yet. I thought it would. Boom! All right, what else can we use? How about the, this one? All right. Let's go. We're going to do another one of these, huh? I'll get that in just a second. Show me what you got. Oh, 
No, no, no. Crap. One more. Come on. I think I got it. Killed that fish. Uh, let's pull out this treasure right here. Huh. 20, I mean, 24 is not that great. <laughs> but cool. Whoa, I didn't see those before. That would have been helpful. Um, let's see. Aha, there we go. Uh, what? No. I hear the little... No, I don't want that. Um... Let me grab this cobble crusher that I have. Actually, let's do the boulder hammer. Um, how, how come I didn't just grab that? I don't know. Take me to a place where there are... Uh, oh, look at that up there. Dang. Uh, okay, let me use one of these. I don't have very many arrows. Well, I have 17 now. That's good. What's up here? What the heck? This place is pretty busy. Sapphire is cool. Hey, where's uh, you know, Bo? There you are. Go after these lizards. you I got a big hearty truffle where are the lizards oh dude this is a proper cave I didn't realize I have entered a cave I did not realize it but I'll take the booble gym Now, not every well has something like this. I, I, I bet there's a, you think there's a cave entrance somewhere else? The answer is maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, my thing is seriously damaged. Uh, let's start using this big old stick. Actually, no, we have cobble crusher, that's right. All right. Well, I got a booble gem out of the deal, so that's... Wait, is there another one? No. Okay. Uh, let me just infuse. <laughs> I bet you anything there's a, there's a cave entrance over here that somehow... Overlaps with uh, with the fact that this is a well. Yeah, look at this. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking at, but look at this down here. Just in case you were wondering. Oh wow, that's a good find. Arrows are good too. Great. <laughs> Soldiers claim more, which is better than this, but that's okay. Whoa! Okay, yeah. Whatever. I'm using it anyway. They're not doing anything. I mean, a bunch of choo choo jellies. I haven't had these in a while. No, this is where we came from, right? And we can instead go over. Look at all these lizards. Another hearty truffle. 
get some of those lizards. I don't think he got any of them. Wow, yeah, look, I'm... Oh, that guy's asleep. Here. Wake up! Let's put on a better weapon. Uh, one of these. This one's good. He died. <laughs> Rest in pieces. No. Um... <laughs> This guy's asleep too. <laughs> There's a lot of uh Oh, he woke up. No, uh, I don't know where I am. This is a big cave. Okay. A lot of fish down here too. Wow. I mean, hold on. I mean, there are reasons that I could go over there and it would be worthwhile. You know, like to grab some of these mighty porgies or whatever. To grab whatever dropped from those guys. Armored porgies, of course, are gonna be helpful. I need to know where fireflies are. That's, that's the big thing. Cause I gotta recruit that guy to the uh, to the to the band. Louise. Yeah, you get you guys get them. You you guys are able to hit them, right? Thank you. There's one more right there by the way. Hit him. Thank you. Excellent. A couple yellow choo-choo jellies. I'm pretty sure we're in like a real deal cave right now. Like this is I mean, I already found the booble apparently. But this cave also connects to a well. That's my theory. Oh wow, look up there. You know, Bo. You know what to do. What the heck? Okay, this is the outside discovery. Wait, is it? Como Shoreline Cave. And that's the cave I went into. And now I'm curious what's down here. Oh, this is just, this is just more of the same. Oh, let go, let go. Armored Porgies. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is a pretty big deal of a cave. Fireflies, though, I don't know where they are. I don't. I just don't know where fireflies are. I mean, I know, I know them when I see them, but I just don't remember where they are. Uh, let's travel back. We actually went kind of far underground. But the bird wanted to meet at night. It's night time. Let's go. Do that. I, I don't know if there's fireflies nearby. There, there should be technically, right? Like if this guy got fireflies, you would think he would have gotten them from close by. There's a freaking dragon there, dude. The heck? How am I supposed to deal with dragons? And there's that guy selling stuff. Um. 
Let me, uh, let me go over here. I think Beetle will have restocked by now. Maybe the guy took all the fireflies from this area. All right, it's night time. Here I am. Only heard at night. Mm. A pretty great night, isn't it, partner? It's around the time the eerie voice has been heard in Fural Plain to the northwest. Folks say it happens at night after night. Okay, we got it. We got it. Let's see. Here I, I'm here. Let's go, ah. partner. Okay, we can do this, partner. Let's head for the Fural Plain to the northwest. Follow me. All right. Hi. Hey, partner, over here. Oh, that isn't very far at all. Let's go. Let me get a good weapon in case something bad happens. I don't have a ton of great weapons, but let me uh, have some gloom weapons. That'll be kind of funny to do. Let's do a gloom weapon. Let's do this gloom spear. I know it'll damage me, but it'll also damage them, so. I hear it. Did you hear that, partner? I heard it. I don't know what it is, but I heard it. <laughs> That's the voice, all right, and it's close by. It's Princess Zelda, though. Is it Princess Zelda, though? Might be, but where's it coming from? My legs won't move. My wings won't flap. I'd duck out of here if I could, but I can't. There's uh, flight or f there's flight or fight, but there's also freeze. All right, if you do not harm. Oh, it's, uh, there's a well. Leave the arms, leave the arms. For not, I'll do the harm. I'm going in. Who is it? Oh, just someone singing. Fear not, you will stay warm. Huh? Huh? Where did you? How did you? When did you get here? Do you need something from me? I don't know. <gasps> Leave the arms. What are you talking about? I wasn't singing anything remotely like that. I've never sung a song with those lyrics. Seek the storm. Seek the storm. Is that maybe what you heard? Because that's what I was singing. Uh? You also heard. For if not, I'll do you harm. <laughs> Leave the arms, or I'll kill you. Ha <laughs> What kind of nonsensical song is that? Fear it not. You will stay warm. Those are the lyrics I was singing, and you put it all together. Um, seek the storm, um, seek the storm, um, fear it not, you will stay warm. Uh, it's a song about a cute little fox who is proud of their warm fur, fur coat, and they chase storms since they don't get cold. Anyway, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> and that's not ridiculous. Anyway, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything, but I don't think it's entirely my fault that people misheard things either. I just like how my voice sounds here, prettier, more refined. Uh, it sounded fine to me, but if everyone else is hearing dire threats... Leave the arms. I guess that explains why weapons keep getting thrown in the well every morning. Uh. They could be dangerous, so I collected them all over here. I've got no interest in them, so feel free to help yourself. All right. Hey, that that you down there, partner? What's going on? Tell me everything. All right. Out with the partner. What'd you discover? Is Princess Zelda down there? Eh? It's just someone er, singing in the well? She's just practicing? Huh, I see, and her voice echoed off the wall, the well walls, making it sound like the princess's voice. Acoustics are strange, and that same distortion made the lyrics she was singing sound more like threats to everyone who heard her? <laughs> ha, so the mystery is solved. Now I know why I had all those goosebumps. I sense one heck of a story coming my way. Thanks for your help, partner. Mm. You know, we've now chased five of the leads that might have something to do with Princess Zelda. Oh. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the, at the Lucky Clover Gazette. You've really shown some promise. <laughs> and it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Go on and, and add this to your nest egg, partner. Wow, 100 rupees. That's so good. Okay, I'll head back to the office and write this one up. Ah. I better hurry, too. We wouldn't want more people thinking the princess was casting spells from a well. Until next time, partner. So long. All right, great. Unfortunately, I came back up here. I want the weapons. Where are these weapons? What kind of weapons do I have? Huh. They're cool and all, but I want the bomb. She's still down here. 
guess so. Let's uh, ascend upward. I need to get more uh, lightning bugs. Is it still night? All right. I am curious what's over here, though. There's people in a tent or something. All right. What's going on, guys? I hope you're all okay. I hope Captain Flaxel and the squad are all right. Oh, hey, things are pretty dicey ahead. Captain Flaxel's monster control uh, crew squad is executing an operation there. Ooh. Huh. There's a pirate ship moored on the shore of the Minot River to the west. But never fear, the monster control crew is on their way to take them out. <laughs> Why am I not out there with them? Because I'm here to keep them fed. I'm a cook. In fact, I just threw together a new recipe while I was holding down the fort. Here, give it a try. Mighty simmered fruit. Thank you. If you're confident in your ability to swing a sword, you should go help Captain Flaxel and the others. I will. Believe you me, I will. Later. <laughs> They're fine without me right now. Where are we exactly? If we go down... Okay, yeah, let's... We're nowhere near... Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go over there. Why not? Why not? Let me see if there's any more uh, fireflies. Let's see, let's see. Where is Beetle? Is he inside this time? There he is. I don't know like when he restocks or whatever, but Yeah! Sa -sa! What have you got? He's got three more. I'll take them all. Wow! Okay. Wow! Yay! Alright, awesome. Wow! Hey! Yay! Ten fireflies should do it. Huh? Do you do you have some fireflies with you? I'm sure I see a glow coming from your pouch. I need ten more of these sunset fireflies. Here you go. Ah, really? You have them? With your fireflies and some I've also collected, I could attract even more fireflies, and then I can make the glowiest of glowing trees. Um, while you're helping, can you do me one more favor? This will only work once the fireflies start glowing, so I'd like you to bring Haiti to the spot once night falls. <laughs> Oh, and I want it to be a big surprise. You'll give it away if you say I'm working on this. Okay, see you both later. <laughs> All right. Great. Um, so. Let's head over here then. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure what all I can do or not do or whatever. You know what I could do? I, I could uh, sort these materials by um, fuse attack power. Oh, those are actually really good. Um, these are good. Drop those. I got some weapons here that could really use them. Such as... Uh, such as this here. And then uh, another one would be this one. <laughs> and then another would be, could this one fuse? No way. No, okay, I, th I thought it might have something on it already. Uh, let's go with this one then. There we go. Oh, and then another thing. Uh, I didn't know this, but if you go here and you like drop one of these shields, you can just take it, apparently, and just fuse it to your other shield. And you basically have a double shield. So if you look at it... Oh, it's still 50, though. Huh. 
Okay, well, I don't. I, I guess they didn't do much good. <laughs> Still, though, I thought it would. So, my my mind was in the right place, probably. Let's use this. This one's good. Level forty-five sword or whatever. Let's go see about what this raiding party is doing. Monster control crew, and then once it's nighttime, which is gonna be a while, I'll go bring Haiti. I don't know where Haiti is, but I'll go bring her. Dang, dude, what in the world? Oh no, this thing needs to reach its friend. All right, well, where's your friend? Where is it? That's not far at all. I'll take you, I'll take you. Let's just uh, take you. Uh, it's not far, but there is a gap. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, dang. All right, let's. Uh, oh, there's a ship. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll get there, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, this is not the fastest way to do this, but I hope you guys can enjoy the walk. <laughs> so. We treat it like a race, just hug the turns, right? There are some enemies up there. I'm not thrilled about this, but they're probably going to get me. They probably see me right now. Or they don't, and that's even better. All right, great. Here you go, that was an easy one to do. We pulled it off. Excellent. I'm happy about that, that's great. Okay. Come to think of it, yeah, the ho the Croc Force is bad. Okay. So who's here? Is someone here, at, like, raiding this place? I don't see any blow. Oh, there they are. All right. Let's go. The bridge collapsed. I'll just go in and take care of it myself. No matter how groggy these monsters might be in the morning, I'm, I'm not sure it's a good idea to head in there alone. Hmm? Oh, hey, I thought I recognized you from somewhere. Aren't you that missing swordsman? Uh, you're all anyone at Lookout Landing talked about when I was there, uh, but you seem good. Happy to see hmm. it. Anyway, this is the Monster Control Crew. We help keep the peace in Hyrule by taking out as many monsters as we can. <laughs> I'm Flaxel, Captain of the Squad 3. Uh, of Squad 3. It's real nice to meet you. We were just on our way to rough up those monsters over there, uh. but the bridge to the ship collapsed, so we don't have a way to board it. Uh, we can give those monsters a real whooping if we just get that bridge fixed. <laughs> All right, here. All right, let me just fix this for you. It's fixed. Let's go. Uh. Hey, did you just? I did. Let's whoop him. Let's uh, whoop him. <gasps> you did. You fixed the bridge for us. Incredible. I can't thank you enough. I guess the rest is up to us Hi. now. Okay, you lot. Are you ready? On our honor as members of the Monster Control crew, we will take down every last one of those fiends. Hey. Victory will be ours. <laughs> All right. Uh, read you. 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 Let's not read you. I always confuse you for read you. Read you. Let's start with the bang. All right, or let's, you know, whatever with the bang. There you go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I knocked out one. Okay. Well, oh, thank you. thanks. I didn't do that. Right? There you go. He's dead. Who else? Who else wants it? Let's do another one of those awesome lightning strikes that kills everybody. 
Up here, up here. This is where we need to go, right? Boom! Ow. Is he dead? He's dead. Whooped him too. Uh, where? Who's left? Let me pick these up. Who's left? Oh, he's off the boat? Yeah, hey, c come here. Let's fight. Oh. All right, I'll just go pick up stuff while they fight, I guess. Excuse me. Just like practice. Black Moblin Horn. Is he over here? Where, where is he going? There he is. Get him, guys. It's okay. Good hit. I'll de deliver the killing blow. There we go. We won! First, we have to treat uh, the wounded. Then, as soon as everyone's okay, we'll get together and plan our next move. As for you, Link, you deserve thanks. Can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> you really surprised me. Taking care of the bridge is one thing, but your power on the battlefield is awe-inspiring. Oh, hey, I've still got to give you your reward. Nice. Getting a lot of stuff here. We have to train. We have to get stronger. We have to get ready for what's next. The plan is to head northwest to the South Tabantha Snowfield in Hebra. If we happen to cross paths in the future, I hope you'll consider fighting alongside us again. May the goddess Hylia keep you safe, brave warrior. Great. Bring peace to fair and complete. We did that. And then they're going to where? Hebra. Bring peace to Hebra. Hebra's next. Uh, I, I kind of want to check out this boat. I don't know if there's like anything like I can do. Anything up here maybe? I don't, I don't know. Oh, here's some stuff that's on fire. Here we go. And then up, bitty up. And this is, seems to be nothing over there either. Cool. Well, you know what they say. I don't know what they say. They, they say, let's go over here. <laughs> and I don't know where Haiti is. If I got to wait till night, I might as well then use that opportunity to sleep. I'll end up getting an extra point, I think. And then, uh, hopefully I can deal with the fairy once I deal with that. All right. Oh, what? Oh, I'm out of, okay. That's fine. Who are you? Where did he go? Who are you? It's Haiti, honestly. Where did Piper go? That glowing tree we've been talking about. He's probably forgotten his promise to show me one of those. Nighttime then awaits, and I will bring you to him. Let me sleep until then, sure. I'll use a point or whatever. Uh, let's talk. 20 rupees, a regular bed. Uh, no, I want the pony points. Ah. Let's get up at night. Because it's 11.20 a.m. Uh. Awesome. The sun has finally said, did you sleep all right? All right, one point, which is uh, I get my next reward now, which is what? Uh. All right, let's get my rewards. Uh. He still wants a giant white stallion. Uh -huh. I don't. I have a white stallion. I don't know if it's giant though. Is it? Uh, let's receive the reward. Hey. Oh. Uh. -huh. Uh, main restyling service. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. I don't know if this horse counts as a giant one. I mean, it's lightning's uh -huh. a white horse. I mean, he's, not, he's not like a big white horse, is he? He's not like Big Pona. Oh. 
Let's see if he likes lightning regardless. He's kind of big. All set. Oh. All right. Let me get on. Oh, oh. Uh, what does he think about this one? I don't think he cares about lightning. There must be an even bigger white horse in this game or something. All right. I don't know where this giant horse is. I don't know what the, uh, oh. I could do a challenge though, taking care of horses. Oh no, another Korok. Yes, need something, sir? I'm in the middle of tending the horses, but I can multitask. <laughs> we have lots of happy horses roaming free in Highland Stables, so if you need one, you're in the right place. Then you can ride it north, south, or wherever you feel like going. I know some scenic spots for you and your horse to visit if you're, if you're interested. Great, let's get scenic. My first suggestion has to be the stable nearby. It's called Lakeside Stable. You'll find it if you take the road towards the east at the edge of Lake Flora. Floria. From there, my next suggestion is nearby. Go farther east and turn south at the ocean. You'll reach a resort town, Luralin Village, it's called. The perfect place to, for wary travelers looking to relax. Wait, what am I thinking? Hmm. We got word the other day that pirates attacked Luralin Village. Since then, I haven't heard a peep about the town's fate. So, what I said about Luralin Village being a good place to relax, scratch that. Oh. I've got plenty more scenic spots to recommend. Just say the word lamb on me. All right, here's a location that's been a mystery long as anyone can remember. A good spot for true adventure. To reach it first right north until you enter a thick, thickly wooded forest. Then travel east until you cross Floria River and there go immediately north into a rainforest. Uh, you'll find yourself what folks have long called the Zonai Ruins. Yes, very old ruins, very old. I can't imagine a better place for steeping yourself in nature's beauty and ancient history at the same time. Uh, lamb on me. My third sitting spot is Lake Hylia in the northwest. Your horse shouldn't go in the lake, of course, but you two could take a thrilling ride across the bridge of Hylia. One problem, though. Uh, I heard an unsettling rumor. It sounds like there's a big monster kept camping on the bridge. If you're scared of monsters as I am, you might want to keep your distance. Uh, I've got plenty more sitting spots. Lay them on me. Uh, All right, ready? I say my favorite scenic spot for last. Though it's kind of a big, it's kind of big to be called a spot. It's the southern coastline. <laughs> Picture this: you and your horse riding from Martha's Landing to Como shoreline and then Puffer Beach. You hear the waves lapping against the beach, feel the cool sea breeze cutting through your clothes, while your horse's hooves pound faster and faster against the ground. <laughs> ah, there's nothing better. On a horse, you'll be able to outrun any monsters that spot you too, except last time I rode to Puffer Beach, there was a swarm of flying monsters waiting for me. They came screeching out of a cave and the ceiling of the rocky area really caught me by surprise. I'm not a flying thingologist, but I guess they were <laughs> nesting there. Anyway, those things can move as fast as horses, so watch out for them. And that concludes my guide to all the scenic spots. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a couple customers recently who weren't interested in any of my recommendations. Can you believe that? They said they were headed south towards the lake of the horse god and didn't have time to, for detours. I believe they wanted to find the giant white stallion or the god of horses. Anyway, I appreciate you taking an interest in my scenic spot. Come talk to me again anytime. So, let's take, let's take, let's take the horse again. Because I need to do this guy's thing. So take a horse. Huh. Let's take lightning. He's got a good bond. Basically. And let's ride him in the uh, thing. I don't know what the thing's uh. called. Thanks for waiting. Oh. Would you like to change his gear? I'm all set. Alright. Uh. He's, oh. he's fine. He's fine. Let's get on. And then let's uh, talk to this dude about whatever challenge he has. It is nighttime. I don't know if he has a thing at night or what. But... Any challenges? Let's talk about it. Oh. Ah, I brought the horse here so you could take part in a certain race, did you? You've got a towing harness as well. All right, looks like you're all set to go. Just double checking. You want to do the, you want to challenge my record, don't you? Let's do it. Oh. Great. There's just a little matter of the entry fee. That'll be 20 rupees. Well, here you go. All righty then. Let's get ready. Let's mm. get ready indeed. First, we connect your horse to the trailer like this. Next, we take a wooden box and put it in the cart. Alley oop. There we go. Everything's sorted. Um, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't I don't quite know what, what's going to happen here. Ah. Oh. Now then, time for me to do some explaining. Oh. So you got to do one lap around this prairie, and you can't let the cargo fall off the trailer along the way. Do I? Okay. Yikes. There are ten checkpoints all told, and you can't cross the finish line until you pass through every one of them. 
So clear the 10 checkpoints and then hightail it back here. Simple, right? Mm. Be warned that if the cargo falls off your trailer, you fail. And no getting off your horse during the race either. Do well and there's pony points in it for you. How many depends on your time. <laughs> My best time is exactly one minute and zero seconds. Think you can beat it? Ooh. That's it for the rules. Now then, are you ready to give, give it a go? I'm ready. Mm. Try doing a lap in one minute and 30 seconds without dropping any cargo. All right, here we go. All right. I mean, how hard can this be? Oh God. I'm starting to see the challenge here. Oh, shoot, there's a checkpoint over there. Sorry, this way, this way. This way, lightning. Crap. I see the problem. The problem being I'm not very good at this. It's swinging wildly. Oh, come on, horse. No! Dude, turn around. Oh, I, I got off my horse. Uh, I didn't mean to. Hey! All right, let me try again. This is kind of an unpredictable horse. Huh. All right. Hmm. Let's do it. Ah. Oh. oh come on, twenty rupees just to try again? I'm not made of rupees. All right. Well, let's go. Hmm? All right, no need. Let's go. Ah. Hmm. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, I'm just quiet so I can focus. Shoot! Come on! How am I supposed to do this? Hey! This is annoying. All right, what do mm. I do? Mm. All right, yeah, let's do it again. I'm sorry. Oh. I know it's cost me a lot. I should I should have saved before I started this. This is a this is a lot of rupees to spend on a race. All right, let's let's do it gentle. I'll do it nice and slow at a controlled pace. Try to beat mm. 130. No need. Let's go. Oh. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. Shut up. <laughs> mm. All right, I got it. I got it. No cargo dropped. <laughs> All right, let's try to kind of keep at this pace. This seems like a decent pace for a horse. And so this one, I have to go a little bit off course here. Not off course, but you know, we're off the trail that was made earlier. No, 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 no. Horse, 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 horse. We're going this way. Oh, God. Horse. Dang it, son of a... <sighs> hey! Um, this might be something I have to do later. I don't want to spend all my rupees on this. Mm. And honestly, I'd rather save. Mm? No, I pass. Oh. Yeah, I need to. I'm gonna have to do this later. Someone's gonna have to remind me to do this later. I don't want to spend like a hundred rupees on this. All right, where's the girl? Piper. Hey, let's go see him. All right. Follow me, please. Piper's gonna set this tree on fire again. <laughs> no, he's gonna make it glow. You're gonna love it. Come with me. He, where is he? 
Piper was over here, right? Piper, where the heck are you? There he is. Okay. Come here. Right here? Ah. Here goes Piper's song. This is so much prettier than the one I once saw in a book. It's just like I see it in my dreams. <laughs> Thank you. I saw the best glowing tree ever. <laughs> I feel really happy. <laughs> happy, did you hear that? Yep, finally happy. What a relief. I knew there was a bright smile in there somewhere. Good for Haiti. <laughs> But I'm going to take. But it's going to take more than than that to keep her smiling. I need to do what I can to make sure that happens. I figured it out. I'm going back to the stable trotters. I'll get better and better at playing my flute. More fun, more amazing. Because if the crowds love my music, Ooh. then Haiti will too, and she'll always smile when she hears it. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks a lot. You help me with all sorts of stuff, so you can have this if you want. All right, thanks. Oh. I'm heading out soon. If we meet again somewhere, my music is going to make you grin from ear to ear. Good deal. So, I can travel now to, uh, there is another, which fairy was I messing with? This one over here? I think so. That's gotta be it. So, I'm gonna travel there and hopefully, you know, they'll be back. Piper, we'll be back. Now, I'll need to come back here to get the white horse soon, eventually. All right, and then here we go. Piper. Ah, uh, it's you. Look, I mean, listen to this. Piper's here. Our flautist Piper has made his triumphant return. Who knew how smitten Piper really was? Not I. Affairs of the heart are something I've yet to experience firsthand. Well, anyway, the return of Piper's delightful flute has revitalized the stable trotters. We're ready to make some music, but I better save some energy for the performance and not fritter it all away on chatting. By the way, I remember you, Traveler. Are you here out of concern for the great fairy? Um. Uh, I am. Sorry, I didn't mean, okay, yeah, up there. I'm sorry to say the great fairy, yeah, I know, withdrawn. All right, so let's go, let's go. But the road has been blocked by some rocks that tumbled out of the sky. I thought maybe we could drive over it, and we did make it about halfway, but the rubble's just too much trouble. No horses can get past it. And our little jaunt took its toll. Alas! Alas, poor Breezer, the indispensable sixth member of our troop, has broken down yet again. Our Breezer has set us through thick and thin. Without it, our hearts won't be in our performance. I'm thankful Piper has returned. But I'm so worried about the great fairy that I just can't leave the players with my usual flair. Don't worry. Don't worry, I know what to do. Hello. Uh, where's like another wheel here? There we go. Uh, so, I think what I can do is I can take this. Yeah, it's all here. We can make this work. Put this up here. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> Oops. And then this control stick will be up here, and I'll I'll drive them all. Sure, that works. Come on in. 
Get in, I'll handle it. I've been waiting for those very words. Everyone, get on board before he changes his mind. Let's go. I'm not going to change my mind. This is how we roll. <laughs> We're just going to get to it. I think we could just go up this way. This vehicle is made for climbing. Don't freak. This is perfect. And here we are. Great fairy, we're here. Now prepare for the performance of a lifetime. I'm ready. Let's hear it. Another fairy. There we go. Look, Piper, look, she's awakened. Oh, I didn't know she'd be so shiny. Thank you again. I have a reward for you, and it's too much for these pockets to handle. No need to be humble. You deserve this. 100 rupees, which I spent a lot of doing the horse thing. That's better. Now I can concentrate on our, on our performance. The captivating Kesa is now at peace. But she wasn't the last great fairy still shut away in her flower bud. That's why the show must go on to the next great fairy's hiding place. Thank you once again, traveler. Great. We did it. And we probably got to get more band members or something. Mm. You're the one who brought the musical troupe to me, aren't you? Don't be shy. I could tell it was you even while I was hiding. Perhaps your reward should be me joining you as a co-adventurer. Hmm? <laughs> I'm only teasing you, but you get even cuter when you're blushing. Uh. I really can't thank you enough, young man, but that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance a piece of clothing, I will gladly help you. So why don't you let me take a peek in that little pouch of yours? Mm. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Uh. All right, so, uh, you know, we could look at the stuff that we've been working on already. Uh, we know that, like, I would love to do this, but I need, like, these Lionel stuff. I don't have Lionel stuff. I could do this. I just need Keys Eyeball and Moblin Guts. Not a big deal. Same thing for these. Um, so let's consider it. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's mm. honestly do it. Yeah, enhance it away. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> All right. That's even better. I... The care I put into it. Some sets of clothing, with, with, when each piece is enhanced twice, it will grant you a new power when worn. Uh. Uh, enhance away. So let's mm. do the, uh, this, these boots now. Or whatever. Uh. I might be able to enhance the soldier gear like all the way. It's not my favorite gear, but I'm not all the way, but two. It's not my favorite gear, but it's not terrible either, especially with, you know, it's one of the ones that I have enhanced. So, you know, mm. enhance away. What are we uh. going to enhance? Let's do the soldier. Yeah, let's do this. Mm. Enhance away. Mm. All right. Mm. I'll need to get more parts. Uh, and then let's see if I can do it one more time. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, Moblin Guts. Now, I don't know if the Enhancement Level mm. 2, well, since it's a full uh, set, will give me anything, but, you know, at the very least, it's an option. Soldier's Armor is all 12. Mm. I guess it doesn't have one. Uh, uh, what else can we enhance, though? I could enhance these. Uh, 
these helmets. I do have stuff to do these helmets. Mm. Mm. Let's do these. Can it hurt? I, uh, uh, let's mm. do this one too. Mm. Uh. I'm using a lot of rupees here. I gotta be careful. All right, uh, anything else that makes sense? Not really, honestly. Maybe the flame guard. Or maybe this. This one works, heat resistance. Enhance away. All right, skip that one. We're good, we're good. Because we're going to Gerudo like right now. I know it's a long episode, but we're going to Gerudo right now. No thanks, I spent so much. So I'm so glad that I, I helped her out because she helps me out. So let's then, let's be quick about this. I do want to go over here and find it. I think the easiest thing for me to do would be just to go to the Skyview Tower, which is just down the street. But still. We're looking for a memory. And we'll be able to see it. And is that, is that freaking Zelda? I'm cold, I'm cold. Let's wear this. Is that not enough? Am I still cold? Oh, that's heat resistance. Oops. Let's put on uh, this one. No, wait, cold resist, yeah. There we go. Now I'm looking good. <laughs> Here we go. Now we should be able to see this, right? It's right here. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot, I forgot to glide. All right, let's look at the tears. and see what we can find over here. There's also a shrine over here. Oh, I don't have any more pins? All right, let's find those tears. Which ones are white and faded in? Or not faded, filled in. Filled in white. Right there. Okie dokie. Oh, there's some gloom thing going on over there. I feel like I used to fight like a certain Lionel in this area, but maybe I'm wrong. All right, here we go. It's, okay, there we go, yeah. I'm, do I'm doing okay on temperature. It's actually a little too cold still, but let's just grab this memory and go then. <laughs> Here we go, a new memory. Thanks for the memories. So let's see. I'm curious about this one, I've been waiting. to offer you my deepest apologies. 
On behalf of the Gerudo. Huh. For taking so long to accept your repeated invitations. It is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom. To serve it faithfully. A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. Oh. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth, well, it is truly reassuring. It is my honor. It's a trick. When your Zonai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. <coughs> your majesty has certainly risen above your admirable lineage. Most impressive. Hmm. It is unfortunate that the noble Zonai no longer grace this world with their presence. All except you and your sister, that is. Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. <laughs> your actions today are appreciated, Ganondorf. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. I thought he was going to kill her right there. Kill Sonya or whatever. King Roru. I believe that man's heart holds many dark ambitions. Just his name. Even that, it gives me pause. I am well aware of his evil nature. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. And he's got an eye in the middle. <laughs> so, it helps. There is nothing to worry about. Now, is Zelda's... Okay. Is Zelda's stone the same as Sonya's? Like, did Zelda get hers from the future and then Sonya's, you know, went to the, you know, like, did Sonya's go to the future then Zelda got hers and then went back in time with it? So that the, so that the, I don't know, just speculation. I'm just guessing. I don't know. What a memory. And I suppose we will leave it at that. Because it's cold and I gotta go. <laughs> So a show of fealty. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So we'll get more memories, of course. Critical decisions. Imprisoning war. We'll get more of them. Don't worry. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm all the way here. I thought that I'd be... Yeah. Interesting. Well, there is a tower over here. I don't know if we should try to go to that tower. I'm assuming that if I would go to that tower, it'll be something keeping me from, you know, dealing with it. But thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. I'm freezing. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.